In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Fulbright for Minecraft 1.21.9. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment, and it is going to provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide along with all the necessary files and tools that you will need. So step number one is to download Fabric. Now we're going to be using the Fabric Mod Loader because this is technically a mod, so we will need a mod loader. So underneath step number one, go ahead and select on this link over here, then go ahead and press on download, then go ahead and select on download universal jar just like so. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see the Fabric installer on the top right like me, but if you don't see it, you can always open up your File Explorer and then look underneath Downloads. But from here, all you want to do is you want to drag and drop the Fabric installer to your desktop just like so. All right, and once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to return back to the website and go to step number two, which is to download the Fulbright mod. So please go ahead and select on the link underneath step number two right over here. Then all you want to do is you want to make sure you download the latest version. So make sure that it does work for Fabric, make sure that Fabric is underneath platforms and where it says game versions, please make sure that it does work for 1.21.9. So go ahead and press on the download button just like so. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to set up a 24 seven unlimited slot server for you and your friends. With the Simple Game Hosting server, you're able to experience all the brand new features that the Copper Age update has to offer. And you're able to add things like mods, mod packs, and plugins with the click of a single button. They also have dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So guys, if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So let's go ahead and drag and drop the Gamma mod to our desktop just like so, right next to the Fabric installer. Then let's head back over to the website and let's go to step number three, which is to download the required mods. So you're gonna need to download even more mods apart from just the Fulbright mod itself. So we're gonna download Fabric API and Cloth Configuration. So let's start off by downloading Fabric API. So go ahead and select on Download Fabric API right over here. Then make sure you do download the most recent version. So yep, here it is, 1.21.9 press on the screen button and now you want to drag and drop it to your desktop right over here and now you want to do the same thing for cloth config so go ahead and select on cloth config make sure you download the most recent version go ahead and press on that then drag and drop it to your desktop okay we can now return back over to the website now the next thing you need to do is you need to download java if you haven't already so in order to run mods or just anything related to modded minecraft you're going to need to have java installed on your system so please go to step number four and select on this link that says download java right over here and make sure that JDK21 is selected. And from here, you're able to go ahead and select on your operating system, whether you're on a Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I would go ahead and select on this. Then you go ahead and install the x64 installer right over here. From there, it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard where you can configure everything and it is completely free and it doesn't take up that much time either. Now, you may need to restart your device in order for Java to actually be applied on your system. All right, so once you're done with that, let's go ahead and return to our desktop. So at this point, you should have five things. So you should have Java installed on your system. You should have cloth configuration, fabric API, gamma utilis, which is the Fulbright mod and the fabric installer. Okay, once you're at this point, go to Fabric Installer and right click on it just like so. Select on Open With, and if you do have Java installed on your system like I previously mentioned, then you're gonna see this option that says Java TM Platform SE Binary. And all you wanna do is you wanna press on that option, and then it is gonna bring you to a screen that looks like this. And where it says Minecraft version, make sure that 1.21.9 is selected, then go ahead and press on Install. Uh, then it is gonna say Successfully Installed It, and just go ahead and press on OK. Close out of the Fabric Installer, then open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. All right, so once you're in the Minecraft launcher, please make sure that Java Edition is selected, then go to the top menu and press on installations just like so. Now where it says versions, please make sure that the box that says modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. And then in this list, you should now see the option that says fabric loader 1.21.9. And all you wanna do is you wanna go to the right and press on this option that says open installations folder. Then you're gonna get a bunch of folders that 
that look like this, but do not be worried because all you need to do is you need to scroll down until you find the folder called mods in all lowercase. Yep. So here it is. And if for whatever reason you don't see it, you can go ahead and make it yourself by right clicking, then pressing on new and then folder just like so. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to open up your mods folder. And at the moment it is currently going to be empty. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to minimize the Minecraft launcher and now drag and drop the Fulbright mod in here drag and drop fabric API and cloth configuration inside of our mods folder precisely like so. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of the mods folder, return back to the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and select on play in the version selector. Please make sure that fabric loader is selected. Then go ahead and press on play, press on I understand, then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, now once you're here in Minecraft, all you want to do is you want to load into any Minecraft world. All right, guys, now in order to activate the Fulbright, all you need to do is you need to press on the G key on your keyboard, then go ahead and press on H just like so. So at the moment, we have night vision disabled, so we can go ahead and turn it on right over here. So if I actually go ahead and set it to nighttime, here is how things do look like. So as you're able to tell, whenever we do have it enabled, we are literally able to see everything that is going on perfectly fine. And this is going to come in clutch in so many different situations. So I highly suggest that you go ahead and give this a try for yourself. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.